Rosemary, it was highly unusual. Xi Jinping was a no-show at the BRICS Business Forum in South Africa. The Chinese leader skipped out on his own scheduled speech, despite the presence of his BRICS counterparts. I'm talking about the leaders of Brazil, of India and South Africa. Russian leader Vladimir Putin, not there, but he delivered his remarks virtually. Now, this is the first in-person summit of the BRICS since the pandemic. This is only Xi Jinping's second international trip this year. This is also Xi's first trip to Africa in some five years. Out before the event on Tuesday, she did meet with the South African president. Later in the evening, he did attend a dinner with BRICS leaders. But many China observers are wondering, why did she skip this address? Now, we heard from Bonnie Glazer. She's the managing director of the German Marshall Fund. And she told CNN this. Let's bring it up for you. Quote, it's extremely unusual for a Chinese leader to show up in the country hosting a multilateral meeting, especially one that China is deeply invested in, like BRICS, and fail to show up at the opening event, unquote. Uh, we also heard from Brian Hart. He's a fellow at CSIS who says, quote, Xi's absence is highly unusual. Chinese leaders rarely go off script at high profile events like this, adding Xi's disappearance is yet another reminder that Beijing can be a black box, unquote. Now, both analysts point out not that long ago, China replaced Foreign Minister Qing Gang after a mysterious one month absence with no explanation given. Now, in South Africa, Xi's prepared remarks were instead delivered by his Chinese commerce minister, Wang Wentao. And the Chinese statement that he delivered commended the BRICS groups. It also called for development, prosperity for all. Um, the statement also dissed the United States um, for, quote, hegemony and bullying acts. And the statement insisted that the Chinese economy is resilient. And meanwhile, Rosemary, we are monitoring Chinese state media. There has been no mention of Xi skipping his scheduled speech. Back to you.